Kale McCarr from the Brooks Bandits. He's an electrifying defenseman. You look at a guy that could potentially be a real game breaker. And for me, he shows that he's the best defenseman in this year's draft. I was playing midget AAA in Calgary, or minor midget, and I had been called up in the Max tournament. And um, at the time, my cousin was playing for Brooks, Mark Logan, and he kind of told the Brooks coaches about me, and they came out and watched, and uh, they talked to me after. And seeing their success record in the past, having just won the RBC Cup two years prior to me even hearing about the team, was was pretty cool too. And you you can't go wrong with a winning organization. Yeah, the interesting part of Kale was we saw him warming up as an affiliate in a midget AAA game. During that warm-up, I'd said to my assistant, who is this little guy? There's something there, we need to figure out who that is. And oddly enough, we had a player on our team and Kale was the younger cousin. So we, we kind of had a conduit there to mom and dad. And uh, from there, we signed Kale in our league. He came up, played some uh, playoff games for us as a 16-year-old, and two years later, here we are. My personality is very serious to hockey, and. I think that being at a place like Brooks where we're on the ice pretty much every day and practicing in the morning and at the rink 24-7 almost, it's, you kind of just learn, learn how to, I guess, improve yourself and get better every day. And I think that you kind of just build on what you see last year and work on the stuff, that, all your weaknesses, and um, I guess you get noticed. You know, everybody says about, okay, he's at this level or whatnot. I'm not projecting for where they're playing. I'm projecting for where they're going. Yeah, obviously I see it in the media and stuff like that, but at the same time, I, I honestly just try to push it aside. I think that if I do worry about it, the, the nerves and stuff will get to me, and um, I think in, in factors that I don't worry about it, I just keep playing my game, and I won't have to worry about those people in the stands. So. In my opinion, it hasn't phased him at all. We, we've had him meeting with teams before games, after games, and just letting him go through the whole process, and he, he hasn't wavered once from, from our team, from his own personality, everything. He's just been, he's been rock solid. Pretty special to still be playing hockey in, in early to late May here and uh, definitely going into last year, the RBC and coming, coming here with that experience is, is huge for the, whatever we have, six or seven guys returning. And um, it's, it's definitely cool to play past all the teams and know that you're recognized as one of the top teams in the country. Makar to Mappin, Mappin, Mappin. Gets it back to the point, Cessna. Look for the deflection. As much as the organization likes to win and wants to be at these events, I think it's important just for the for the city to be able to, to watch these games, embrace this team, and, and have a chance to, to say Brooks has a national champion in their city. It, it would be it would be something to complete everything that's happened, I guess, in my junior career, uh, personally, and for this team to win it again in uh, whatever it's been um, four or five years since they won, since they won the last one would would be pretty special for the organization.